and I'm excited to be back here with all of you. And what I'd like to do today is first share the significant progress that we've made since last year's Discover. Second, I want to talk with you about our strategy and our go-to-market story. And third, I want to talk about why I believe HP is uniquely positioned in this new world order. But really, the one thing I want to stress, and what's most important, is that everything comes back to our partnership. And I'm here to tell you how Hewlett Packard is out to be the best technology partner on Earth for IT leaders like you. Because frankly, we are nothing without our customers. You know, in the last year, we've been listening to you more closely than ever. And everywhere I go, you tell me that you want us to win, that you've invested in HP's technology over many years, and you need us to continue to bring you solutions that solve your problems and help you and your company succeed in the marketplace. You've also told me that you deeply appreciate the benefits that you get from HP in an industry that is characterized by consolidation and change. You know, our customers have always been at the heart of this company, and that's truer today than ever before. HP can help you manage complexities in ways that no other company can. I think we've got a unique perspective because we helped build the previous IT world and we are helping to create the new one. And we know that most of you have one foot in each world, the old world and the new world. I think we're also unique because we're equally strong in hardware, software, and services from security to big data. And we are uniquely qualified because invention and innovation are heritage values at Hewlett Packard. They are in our DNA. And we have always brought that strength to the table. But today, we are investing more in R&D than ever before. But what else do you want in a technology partner? Obviously, you want to see a secure financial footing. You have to have confidence that your partner will be around tomorrow and the day after that. And believe me, Hewlett Packard is here to stay. <laughs> Thank you. Next, you want a great track record of success. But no resting on laurels, no trading on last century's accomplishments. And you want your partner to understand what it takes to make you successful. You also want a partner with great assets, like a trusted brand, like resilient employees that will work on your behalf. And finally, you want a partner with the ability to see what's ahead, gauge your situation, and help you navigate at your speed on your terms. So let's look at what's ahead and how we're helping manage complexity. You know, IT remains the defining change agent of our time. And we stand at the next major inflection point in our industry. This shift is being driven by trends that you all know about and are living every single day, whether it be cloud, security, big data, or mobility. The shift also changes the way technology is consumed, the way it's delivered, and the way it's paid for. This shift demands what we call the new style of IT, which in reality is a new style of business powered by IT. This type of shift happens once every 10 to 15 years in our industry, like the shift from the mainframe to the client server, from the client server to Web 1.0, 
from Web 1.0 to mobile and web services. And I enjoyed a very clear view of one of these shifts when I was at eBay. And what I know is when these types of shifts happen, everything changes. And you know what becomes even more important? IT. In the shift that we're going through right now, this new style of IT promises all kinds of opportunity, like lower cost, greater agility, simplicity, and speed. But it also means IT is being challenged in ways we haven't seen before. It means new kinds of pressures on businesses like yours. Today, IT needs to accelerate its speed with modernized applications and web services, which means having the right infrastructure, the right applications, the right services to keep pace with business and consumer demands. For instance, companies can no longer take nine months to develop version 1.0 of an application and then wait another nine months for version 2.0 of that application. Things now overnight, they happen in days and weeks. Also, size and scale are no longer barriers to market entry. I bet that some of your competitors today weren't even in business a couple of years ago. The new style of IT spans devices, infrastructure, software, and services to deliver on the promise that your employees, your customers, and your partners expect. And IT is no longer just about keeping the computers running. It is now a critical strategic factor in determining whether your organization is a winner or a loser in the marketplace. You are no longer down in the engine room. You are up on the bridge consulting with the captain. And we get that. And HP, Air, HP is here to help you earn your command stripes. Now, as I said earlier, driving this huge shift is the rise in cloud, mobility, big data, and security. And you know this new reality better than anyone else because you live it every single day. You know about the explosion of data that the world is creating and the challenges involved in managing it, storing it, processing it, and exploiting it. Think about it. On every given day, on any given day, the world posts one billion pieces of content to Facebook, generates over 200 million tweets, and creates information using cameras, sensors, GPS-enabled devices, and transaction systems. For example, did you know that Walmart alone processes over a million transactions every hour? And this translates to more than 2.5 exabytes of new data every single day. And thinking about the data center, everyone knows that the path that we are on is simply not sustainable, not in terms of space, in terms of energy, or in terms of cost. For example, large cloud and web services will conservatively have an installed base of, get this, 8 to 10 million servers over the next three years. The space that these servers will occupy will be the equi equivalent of 200 football fields. If laid end to end, these data centers would span the length of Manhattan. And to build these data centers will cost anywhere between 10 and 20 billion dollars. You also know how challenging it is to secure your systems and vital information in a world facing asymmetrical and relentless security threats. Since 2006, threats against US government systems alone rose more than 680%. Today, security is a board-level agenda at every company and at every organization. 
Now, with the need to increase the speed and flexibility at which you operate, you know the pressure that diverse form factors and mobility apply to your organization. And while yesterday's database administrator typically sat in a nook somewhere in your office, today he or she can work from just about anywhere on a smartphone. You know just how challenging and vital enabling the journey to the cloud can be. By 2016, research suggests that 75% of the IT environment will be deployed in either a private, managed, or public cloud market. These numbers are overwhelming, and their sheer size makes it clear just how fundamental these trends are to an organization's bottom line. Solving these kinds of challenges and using these type of forces to your enterprise, enterprise's advantage are table stakes in today's hyper-competitive environment. The foundation for the new style of IT is still being poured, and we are all defining it together. And what you'll hear about this week at Discover is how we are providing comprehensive solutions for this foundation. In fact, HP's strategy, in a few simple words, is this. We provide solutions for the new style of IT. We are the only company with the breadth and depth of innovative products and services to help you succeed in this new reality. Look at our new Moonshot server system. This is truly revolutionary innovation. With Moonshot, you can reduce power consumption by 89% and the footprint of those servers by 80%. And perhaps best news of all is it costs 77% less than traditional servers. To give you an internal example of how this, of this product's potential, we have actually moved all of HP.com to Moonshot servers. HP.com gets over 300 million hits a day, and we are now powering the entire site on the equivalent of 12 60-watt light bulbs. No other company is making such strides in energy efficiency. I mean, I bet most of you have more than 12 light bulbs in your house. With 3PAR, no other company is tackling the issue of storage head-on. We have the most modern architecture, better common features from mid-range to the high end, and unsurpassed ease of management. With our deep experience in computing, no company better understands the balance between access and security that enterprises are grappling with in the age of mobility. With our background in printing and new innovative mobile printing solutions, no company is more capable of bridging the physical and the digital worlds. And with software like Vertica and Autonomy, we are helping companies manage, analyze, and take advantage of that massive volume of data that's now available to each and every one of your organizations. And with our cloud systems offerings, we are the trusted partner and market leader in the private cloud. Over 1,000 customers and 40% of the Fortune 100 are using converged cloud solutions and services. Our professional services team is helping thousands of customers with their cloud strategy and implementation journey. And we're here to help you. We've got a great cloud strategy, and we are accelerating our efforts. We have the cloud that enterprises rely on. Now, no other company can provide the connective tissue for companies transitioning to this new style of IT. Now, this ability, in my view, is, in fact, what sets us apart. That's the opportunity I articulated when I first stood on this stage last year. And it's the kind of success we have spent the last year helping customers achieve. From the innovation that we are driving 
to the solutions that we are offering to how we run our own business and how we work with all of you. HP is aligned around helping you build a better enterprise by giving you the solutions for the new style of IT. But don't take it from me. I think the most credible spokespeople for our strategy are our customers. Innovative hardware can stimulate creative thinking and efficiency. For instance, we're partnering with Nationwide Insurance to offer a new platform that makes managing everyday tasks far easier. Centralizing and streamlining their communications into a single, social, scalable platform has led to greater efficiencies and, most importantly, a better customer experience. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company is an insurance company serving in the property and casualty insurance business along with a broad range of financial services with about 12 or 13 million customers. All of our uh, ways of interacting with our customers are now becoming more and more technology-centric. We have a substrate of what we call thematic goals. One is IT value. The second we call users love, which is creating solutions that our users love and help them be more productive in their work. We have a couple of initiatives in flight today with HP. The first of these is with respect to our hardware platform. We're going to be rolling out the new platform over the course of about two years, and it'll touch about 40,000 desktops in total. Our end users are looking for technology that not only helps them do their job, but makes them proud to be a nationwide associate. The new platform has really been an effective tool for us in helping achieve that user's love experience for our end user community. HP Extreme as a product really enables us to have a single platform for managing communications cradle to grave. It's a scalable solution and so far has been able to grow with us as we try to integrate communications from across the organization and across multiple lines of business. That's creating not only a great experience for our members, but increased efficiency in our operations. Because of HP's broad capability, uh, we look for ways to leverage that relationship across services as well as software and hardware. And today we're actively engaged with uh, HP on all of those fronts. Thank you. Users love. Is that not a great way to sum up an IT solutions goal? Nationwide required 40,000 PCs to help their users love. And we provided HP Pro desktops, EliteBook folios, EliteBook mobile workstations, and our new tablet, the EliteBook Revolve. Nationwide also purchased the HP Extreme solution to empower them to make the most of every single customer interaction. And we're proud that our products and solutions have helped nationwide be on your side. The complexity and sprawl of data centers for businesses of all sizes is continually evolving. Enabling an organization to centrally house and share information with the people who need it most can be a daunting and very expensive task. HP has partnered with United Airlines to help arm employees with the latest tools to better communicate with customers. We've also worked together to create platforms that share critical, accurate, and ever-changing information with passengers around the world. The airline business is nonstop. It's like a ballet underneath every single one of those flights. 
A data center is a critical component of any business, and I think it's more so uh, for an airline. When you have that many flights and that many passengers moving around the country, messages flowing at millions of messages per second, those systems just cannot go down, and the data center that supports them is equally important. It's important to know that your flight's going to be on time. If there's a gate change, they need to be able to book, they need to be able to change the itineraries, regardless of where they are. Having people that know those systems is absolutely critical. We needed a partner that would allow us to leverage their people as well as their technology, and we just found that HP has the right combination of skill and talent. As we communicate what we need in the way of custom solutions, they're actually there listening, and listening is a knowledgeable partner. The services and solutions we provide to United are so flexible, we're able to scale our environment to meet the demands of the airlines day to day. We've surrounded our mission critical systems with capabilities. Our website is a good example of that. We have by far the best and most robust mobile application in the industry. It's important for us to improve and enhance the tools that our employees use so that they spend less time working on their computers and more time looking our customers in the eye and trying to service their needs. We're there for one purpose, and that's to get you to your destination on time and safely. HP's been an excellent partner for us, and knowing that they know and appreciate your industry is critical to our success. United Systems needs to be up and running 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, for their customers to buy tickets, check in for flights, schedule crews, generate flight plans, calculate weight and balance for aircraft, and maintenance repair, as well as overhaul. And HP runs and operates all these mission critical systems on behalf of United with our converged infrastructure solutions, our IT performance suite software, and our enterprise services outsourcing. Not to mention that they are all completely standardized on our laptops and desktops, as well as some of our printing solutions. This is a wonderful example of how HP actually becomes one with our clients as we equip these data centers to handle 21st century challenges. Now, integrating and centralizing IT doesn't just aggregate information. It aggregates intelligence, makes it faster and easier to leverage, and creates real business opportunities. And when a multifaceted worldwide organization creates a hub for all of its data, a world of new business opportunity becomes available. And it allows for each part of a business to share, to think smarter, and unleash insights that would have otherwise gone unharnessed. That was, the goal when, that was the goal when we partnered with DAS, a global business within the Omnicom group. When we first started this process, we knew this was going to be the single biggest project of our career. DAS is a strategic marketing holding company with over 165 agencies, with 700 offices in over 40 countries. Never before did I ever dream that we'd come to a place where we were going to consolidate all of our unique agencies into one centralized service. The decision was made based on today's technology, our clients' need. We had clients wanting information quicker, faster, and more efficiently. Our needs as an agency are kind of multifold. The speed through which we need to do our work and solve complex problems is every day becoming increasingly challenging. We are on all the time. We host hundreds and hundreds of websites for key clients that we expect those websites to be up because if those things go down, businesses stop running. Our success for surviving in the digital age is dependent on this project. HP was absolutely invested in our success. It was a true partnership through and through. So our agencies have told us that the tools and techniques that we've incorporated have helped empower them to support their client. 
it actually fuels entrepreneurialism. It fuels your ability to do what you do as a company and to do it better, faster, with a greater sense of quality and confidence than you were doing it before. We know we're going to continue this great partnership with HP. Not only are they helping us, not only are they helping us to fully implement and utilize the solutions we have today, but as we move forward over the years to come, we are also going to be adapting and evolving these solution stacks to better serve our agencies. It seems like a simple idea, but very few companies can deliver on that, and HP delivers on it daily for us. You know, when you partner with HP, we've got your back. And this is exactly what we did with DAS. We consolidated over 700 offices in 71 countries into two streamlined data centers, resulting in improved operational efficiencies and improved business continuity. We enhanced security for their business and improved their energy efficiency. They went from a 10,500-square-foot facility serving just 30% of their agencies to a 5,600-square-foot facility serving all of their agencies. How did we do it? With HP converged infrastructure, including ProLiant servers, 3PAR storage and store once, and our network core and top-of-rack switches, and the HP Intelligent Management Center, in addition to tipping point for network security and all of which were installed by an HP project manager and project team. And you can get your hands on all of this at HP Discover. Now, harnessing big data is key to leveraging the digital footprints inside and outside an organization to drive actionable insights and break down barriers with customers. Everyone talks about the possibilities that occur when we're connected to information. Enabling marketing and sales with the insight of big data is very exciting. Chief marketing officers and sales leaders are seeing the potential every single day. Gartner reports that by 2017, CMOs will be one of the top users of IT. And one great example of a CMO who is using technology to enable insight from their data is Steve Phelps from NASCAR. Steve and NASCAR's CIO are partnering together to transform their business with the power of big data. The Fan and Media Engagement Center is the technology, the technology a breakthrough that allows us to stay much more connected to our fans in ways uh, that we could have never dreamed about 10 or 15 years ago. My biggest challenge was how do we take all this unstructured data, get it back into NASCAR's data centers, and get it all into something that makes sense and organized. So autonomy with the power of its idle engine, with the power of its media bin, we will take both of those separate means of data and brings it in-house, collects it, stores it, and then starts to kind of stitch it together for a, a single pane of glass story that helps us understand what is being talked about across the ecosystem of the sport. So this allows us to get a head start uh, on what is obviously going to be you know, the next uh, frontier of, di of digital media and social media. And uh, we couldn't be more uh, proud about how our, our entire team and the HP group have come together. We'll get better at the technology, we'll get crisper and even richer and better, and, and the sport will be, I know, on the cutting edge of this. So led by HP Enterprise Services, with the help of Autonomy's Explore, Idle, and Media Aggregation Service, Together with HP ProLiant Gen 8 server blades, HP digital signage displays, and a whole lot of imagination, NASCAR is transforming the possibilities of big data into reality, giving their fans exactly what they are looking for. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Steve Phelps, Chief Marketing Officer of NASCAR. You can sit over there. <laughs> so 
so what I'd like to do is just talk a little bit, just a few minutes, about the benefits to NASCAR's constituencies sure. of, uh, of your, you know, your sponsors and your fans. So when you first had the idea of this fan and media engagement center, what were some of the things that you were trying to accomplish? And what were you trying to understand about your fans and your sponsors that you didn't know with the old way you used to do things? Sure. Well, the vision for the Fan and Media Engagement Center was really from Brian France, our chairman and CEO, who we just saw. Um, what Brian's vision was, was around understanding the narrative of the sport, what was the, going on with the dialogue and the tenor of what was being said, um, both from a fan perspective as well as from a media perspective. Um, and that's where the big data comes from. Yeah. So all this big data of uh, digital, social, traditional, and broadcast all out here, ingested into this Phantom Media Engagement Center, and importantly, coming out with an output that is actionable, um, an output that helps uh, both from a fan perspective, from a sponsor perspective, anyone in our ecosystem, teams, tracks, media partners, drivers. Um, and so the, vi the vision's now a reality for us with, yeah. with the Phantom Media Engagement Center. Is there, Center. like, real-time changes in sentiment or what people are talking about, whether it's from race to race or season to season, what are the kinds of things that change so rapidly in your business? Well, it's certainly, you know, we're uh, an ever-changing sport, yeah. and so week to week you're going to have different storylines, and that storyline comes through through the, you know, through the sentiment of the Phantom Media Engagement Center. Mm -hmm. So understanding what the fans are interested in seeing, understanding what the fans are um, interested in looking at, engaging from a content standpoint, what right. content do they want, how can we better serve that? Um, that's done through our Phantom Media Engagement Center. I'll give you an example of that. Um, we launched a new website, uh, NASCAR.com, an entirely new platform that we built from the ground up. Uh, we could probably run that for you on Moonshot servers. <laughs> <laughs> and we have also a whole suite of apps that we introduced as well. Um, through the Phantom Media Engagement Center, we are able to understand what the fan was looking for. So were they looking for um, the website to be configured slightly differently? Were they looking for more video? All of these things were able to help us fine tune that particular site as well as the apps that we're doing, ultimately creating even greater um, engagement and how we serve content to that fan in the future. And probably lets you do very interesting A-B testing, right? Yes, you does. configure the website in one way for a certain group of fans and in another way for another group. Absolutely. Fascinating. So um, how about sponsors? You know, sponsors obviously are a very important part of your ecosystem. What have they seen in terms of the return on investment in the fan and media engagement center? Well, you take a step back, you look at the, the role of sponsorship that plays in our sports. We have a huge sponsor base. They are essentially the ones that make our sport go. Yeah. Um, the financial impact that they have on the sport is significant. Um, so for us to have a positive return on investment is huge. To have a tool that helps measure that is fantastic for us. And so I'll give you an example. We had uh, probably the first example on the sponsor side uh, happened around the Daytona 500 yeah. this year. Chevy was introducing a new car, the Chevy SS, a new production car. And they had a, a very large announcement uh, at the Daytona International Speedway in advance of the race. And what we were able to do with the Phantom Media Engagement Center was to understand what fans liked about the car and, and, and the sentiment around that, as well as what media was writing about it. And we delivered a, a dashboard hmm. to Mark Royce, who is the president uh, of GM North America, within an hour to say, this is what they're saying about your car. Wow. Uh, and he was, he was over the moon. He was thrilled. So it's so interesting the new connections that you can make when you can look at this huge explosion of data, both structured and unstructured. Give, can, do you have another example of sort of that connection that was made, whether it, maybe it's with drivers. I don't know, is the, do fans sort of make a deeper connection with drivers because the people who are managing the driver's image can understand what fans are saying? Sure, no, absolutely. So we have a, a whole group that's responsible. It's actually a new group called the Driver uh, Star Power Group or Driver Services Group that's responsible for working with the drivers, the teams, their PR reps, and having them understand what fans are interested. So we will give them input on how they want to do things from a social media perspective, what they want to do from an image standpoint, what things are turning off the fans, and what things are they excited about. 
all those things we can get through our Phantom Media Engagement yeah. Center and see how it's being reported on by traditional media and the motorsports press. Is this one of those cases where the more you know, the more you want to know? Absolutely. <laughs> that there's this sort of insatiable hunger and that, you know, so I'd love to know like your future vision, um, what you think you can do and, and sort of look into the future for us a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you know, I think um, it's a good question. We are, um, we're at just, really just started this process. So the Phantom Media Engagement Center came online in January. Right. Um, and so we're still in this learning process. So you talked about, you know, nine, you don't have nine months to get from 1.0 to 2.0. For us, we're in the same boat. Yeah. Um, so it's incredibly exciting for us. Um, the insights that we can learn from the fan um, and how we fine tune both our racing product, what we do from uh, a technology standpoint to drive engagement, um, is really something that, that this tool helps us do. I have one more example that I think is interesting. We have, uh, we had a race six weeks ago at Talladega. Uh -huh. It rained on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, for all of you who've been to a racetrack when it rains, not a really good place to be. <laughs> uh, so the old system of drying the track, particularly a track of that size, took about three hours. We have new technology that allows us to dry the track in 90 minutes. Um, so if you're sitting, waiting for this race to start, that's important. Yeah. Um, so what the Phantom Media Engagement Center did for us, it didn't help us with the drying technology, that was this thing called the Air Titan, but what it did, it allowed us to understand what the fans were saying. Um, not just what well, we hope the, the race gets under sooner because you're drying the track more quickly. They wanted to find more about the Air Titan. So we were able that's to push through social media, photos, videos, uh, answers to their questions, get to our uh, media partner Fox and say, hey, you may want to play up this Air Titan because the fans are really interested in it. Pushing through NASCAR.com as well. So just another tool that helps in, from an engagement yeah. standpoint. And in this case, it wasn't even racing. Right. It, was, it was something other than the racing, something they found interesting about the sport. So it's going to require on the part of you and your partners real agility to actually take this information and then figure out what to do with it in real time, That's which exactly. is a whole new skill set, I suspect, that you're trying to build in your organization. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, we are really proud to be one of your partners. We are just delighted with, uh, with uh, what you're doing with us, and, and congratulations, because it's really fun to be part of NASCAR. Thank so you. thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So I love NASCAR. I mean, and what they are doing is a real world example of putting big data to work. And I think this is relevant to every single one of you in this room. I mean, who couldn't use more engagement with customers to improve products and increase loyalty? I mean, HP, we can apply this kind of solution to any company in any industry today. And you can learn more about the solutions that we provided to NASCAR here at Discover in the Innovation Theater on Wednesday and see it live and in action in the, big air, in the big data area of the Discover Zone. So thanks again to Steve, thanks again to NASCAR. Now, what you will see over the next three days is that HP provides our customers innovative products and services that are seamlessly transforming their businesses to the new style of IT. And these are the types of products our customers are asking us for. And we're coming together with partners like Google to bring that to you. So today, we announced a partnership with Google and our wide network of channel partners to introduce one-stop shop for technology solutions for small and medium businesses. And we're calling this SMB IT in a box. And we're combining HP's PCs, workstations, printers, and servers to Google Apps for business and their easy-to-use cloud-based communication and collaboration tools. So what this venture is designed to do is to help simplify cust the customer's IT environment, reduce their operating costs, and their infrastructure and network requirements while improving their workflows and their productivity. So in short, SMB IT in a box enables business owners to focus on what really matters to them, their customers and their business. 
So this breakthrough, which we are really excited about, it just, it isn't a one-off. We're going to continue to look for ways to partner with other like-minded technology companies to give customers what they want and what they need to make IT a growth enabler. Now these are just a few examples of how we're helping customers navigate the new style of IT. And just like United, we can help you drive better results with better business across your entire organization. Just like with NASCAR, we can enable the transformation of data into insight. And you'll hear more about these case studies and other examples from Dave Donatelli, George Kadifa, Mike Nefkins, Todd Bradley, and Bill Vecti in their keynotes tomorrow. Now, Kevin Bacon talked about technology issues that he knows are important. But in many cases, these issues are new. They are evolving, and quite frankly, they are daunting. And we get that. We understand that you may go to work feeling like Clark Kent, but when you arrive on the scene, people expect Superman. We get what you are going through. And part of our job at HP is to help you wear the red cape. We are here to help you be the hero by delivering the services and perspectives that you need to stay afloat, stay ahead, and stay on top. And we do this every day for customers around the world. And that's the opportunity that I articulated here last year. It's the kind of success that we have spent the last year helping customers achieve. From the innovation that we're driving, to the solutions that we're offering, to the way we run our business and work with our customers, HP is aligned around one thing, and that is making you the hero. Helping you build a better enterprise and capitalize on the new style of IT. Now remember, when I first came out here, I said we want to be the best technology partner for you. Everything we say and do, every server we ship, every meeting we take with you, every minute we spend on R&D is with that goal in mind. And I believe we've come a long way since my first Discover presentation. And I have to say I've logged a lot of road time meeting and talking to you. I have met with over 520 customers in the past year and 225 partners. And you've told me that what you need in a partner, and you've told me how HP can be a better one. And the first thing I heard is that you have to have confidence in HP's future. Done. We have strengthened our financial performance. We have a healthier balance sheet with very strong cash flow. And we have stabilized our business. Second. You said you need to tap into our power to innovate so that you can stay ahead. Done. We have reaffirmed HP's historic commitment to innovation. We have an impressive pipeline of products and services, products and services that you will see on display as you look around Discover. And you said just shipping great HP technology is no longer enough for us. You want help managing technology from everywhere. You want multi-form factor and OS devices in a coherent, secure, increasingly mobile enterprise ecosystem. You told me that you are being pushed into disciplines that you may be new to you, from global cybersecurity threats to new cloud migration options. And you are increasingly critical to your organization's chances of success and boy, is there pressure. Time pressure, price pressure, pressure not to miss a thing. And you told me that you want help. Well done. With our focus on the solutions of the new style of IT, we want to make your world work not as it has in the past, but as it evolves today. Our job is to scan the horizon for you. Our job is to be consultative and we are committed to an open standards, open platform philosophy. And best of all, 
we listen. While we have more work to do, we are making great progress. And no other company can execute the way we can. So consider us assets within your own organization. It's as if our strengths are your strengths for you to leverage. And when we are happiest, it's when you look like Superman. We are happiest when you succeed at leading your organization into the future. And in the spirit of this partnership, our people here at Discover are your people. Come see us. Ask us anything. You'll hear more at this event about the exciting solutions coming out of HP today. But if you remember nothing else from HP, remember this. We are out to be the very best technology partner that accompanies you into the future. And we are here to build a better enterprise together with you. Challenge us, tap into us, bring us your problems and your goals and your insoluble puzzles and your impossible schedules. And together, we will make amazing new strides. But we will do what HP has always done, invent, innovate, prove our value every single day, earn your trust. Because no other organization is better positioned to be your partner in navigating the new style of IT. So let's go do it together. Let's create wonderful things together far into the future. Let's build a better enterprise together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, before we close, and speaking of navigating, being the CEO of HP has its privileges. And yesterday, I was a fortunate to have a private tour of the HP Discover Zone floor. I will tell you the solutions, the products, and pure innovation on this floor are just remarkable. And I don't want you to miss a thing. So I thought what I would do, and it would be fun, is to act as your tour guide to create a list, a top 10 list, Meg's top 10 list of must-sees at HP Discover. So here goes. At number 10 is the transformation workshops. From cloud to big data to mobility, our experts can help you determine the right plan to transform your business from the technology of yesterday to the technology of tomorrow. At number nine is the Solution Pavilion. You should go see this. You're going to be able to see a simulated cyber attack and learn how HP's solutions identify and stop the bad guys from infiltrating what matters most to you. At number eight is the ES Guru Bar. Ask our enterprise services connoisseurs anything you'd like from how we've helped clients accelerate application development, to driving results with big data and analytics, to maximizing employee productivity with mobile solutions and unified communications. And number seven is the consumer pavilion. Get a hands-on look at the products that are transforming our personal daily lives, including the Slate 7 with Beats Audio and Android OS, at an amazingly affordable price. And you can also check out our hybrid PC. That's 100% tablet, 100% notebook, the NVX2. Number six is the HP Pod, or what we call our Performance Optimized Data Center. We have brought a real world data center to the conference floor. Our pod is the perfect example of our converged infrastructure strategy, and each contains HP servers, including Moonshot and Blades, storage from 3PAR, networking, and services. And number five is one of my personal favorites, the HP Story Wall. We all have a story to tell. And learn about the enterprise services that we provide and how we make it matter for our customers, not in our voice, but their voice. 
These would be my favorite fairy tales if they weren't real-world examples. They are just that good. Number four is the Printing and Personal Systems Pavilion. Learn how our managed print services can save you up to 30% annually, and you can hear about one of our, my favorite products, the OfficeJet Pro X, and learn how, with ink in the office, you can get the quality of laser at 50% of the cost. And number three is the Innovation Theater. You've got to go and check out the presentations from HP and from our customers on topics like why software-defined networking changes everything and how big data is reshaping IT management. I promise you, you will be entertained and you will learn something new about what we can do for you. And number two is the Moonshot Guru Bar, where your Moonshot experts can answer any questions that you throw their way. Remember, Moonshot can reduce power consumption by 89% and the server footprint for 80%, and it costs 77% less than traditional servers. Now, how great is that? And finally, yes, you can applaud for that. <laughs> And finally, my number one must-see at Discover are the keynote addresses by our very own Ocean's Eleven cast. Dave Donatelli, Todd Bradley, Mike Nefkins, George Kadifa, and Bill Vecti. Now, I know there aren't 11 of them, and perhaps they're not quite as well-known as George Clooney, Brad Pitt, or Matt Damon, but hey, we'll take what we can get. <laughs> Plus. What our crew has to say makes up for it. So please go check out these 10 areas, come to the keynotes tomorrow, and see for yourself the HP that I have come to know and absolutely love. We have been working hard for you, and I think that will come through in the next few days. So thank you again for coming to Discover. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for your friendship and your partnership, and enjoy the event. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much.